We're going to talk about group and outline and subtotaling, which is a form of the group and outline. So the group and outline that we're going to be using is on the data tab and over here on the right where it says group, ungroup, and subtotal. So the first thing that I use um, group and outline for is to create groups that can expand and collapse. Let's say, for example, I wanted to collapse the score right next to the name um, instead of having to scroll over to find this every time. So it's really simple. I just highlight the items that I want to collapse. So if I wanted everything to collapse to here, I highlight and I'm dragging across the top of the column on the letters and then I click group and I'll notice that there's a minus sign here. I can click the minus sign and these will minus and I now see the name right next to the average score. Then I click the plus sign and voila all of those are back. You can do different le levels of this too. So maybe you want to see gender next to the score. So I could highlight all of this and create another group. So now I have two minus signs or two plus signs if they are collapsed. And if I just want to open it back up I can do that. To get rid of these, I have to reverse the process. I have to highlight just the columns that collapse. I can't highlight the column underneath the minus sign, just the ones with the dots above. So I click and drag over the ones that with the dot and then click on ungroup. Same thing here. If I wanted to get rid of these, I'm going to click on these columns just the ones with the dots over it and ungroup and notice that this can also be done on rows and when we do the subtotal here you're going to see how um, the rows collapse and really subtotal is just Excel automatically doing these groups for you so that you can do a subtotal. So let's take a look at that next. So here is a spreadsheet with some t-shirt sales and let's see that we need to know how much each homeroom each homeroom here owes um, money to turn it into the main office and we we need the subtotal. Well the first thing that you have to do whatever you want to subtotal on you have to sort it first. So I will have to go um, either into my data or my home, home tab and make sure that I do sort this um, by homeroom. So I'm doing that first so that it can easily put a subtotal under each one of the homeroom things. So that's perfect. Um, now we are ready to subtotal this data. So to do a subtotal I highlight all the data that I need and then again that's under the data tab subtotal and the first thing it says at each change in what do I want it on each change in t-shirt each change in last name no each change in homeroom that's where I want the subtotal to be and I do want it some you could do a count of shirts or something like that too and I want the price to be subtotaled perfect and I could check other things too if I wanted so I click OK and voila Room 105 owes 60, room 110 owes 42, and 135 owes 65. If I wanted to do it by t-shirt size, I could have sorted by t-shirt size and done a subtotal then. And then I would know how many smalls I needed to order, how many mediums, not by homeroom, but overall how many of each of those. So the subtotal comes in handy. Now take a look over here on the left. You'll see the dots and the minuses and the pluses. This is the group and outline that I told you would automatically be done. So I can minus these and voila, now I don't see all the chatter in between. I see each homeroom and the amount that each homeroom owes to the main office before they can order the t-shirts. And here's my grand total, which is also very helpful. It's completely automatically done by Excel. So it's a great little function and again, data to group and outline area under the outline area subtotal.